students who were born male but identify as female wouldn't be allowed to play girls' sports if a bill being considered in the Indiana legislature becomes law. Supporters say allowing transgender girls to participate gives them an unfair advantage. What would this do for those who have to rely on their own God-given abilities and talents? In the realm of creating fair playing fields, this notion would prohibit those athletes who may not be as well known, like myself, from getting any scholarship money at all. The LGBT community is outraged by the legislation. After the bill passed out of an Indiana House committee, protesters were removed from the gallery after they started chanting. Even if this bill doesn't pass, advocates worry damage has already been done just by proposing it. There is still going to be the residual damage of this conversation even taking place. Zoe O'Halen Byrne works at Indiana Youth Group, an LGBTQ advocacy and support organization. She's also transgender. Trans people change their appearance to match their inside just as anyone else does. And we live our lives as authentically as we can. A 2021 study found more than half of transgender youth ages 13 to 24 seriously considered suicide in the past year. 20% attempted it. They're being told that they're less than they're being gaslit into believing that they are not who they are. They're being told, oh, well, you may feel like you're a woman, but you're actually a, a man. And that's, that's very harmful. Indiana's bill only applies to youth sports as it's written right now. It doesn't impact collegiate teams. Indiana would be the 10th state to adopt a ban like this. The bill now heads to the House floor for consideration. If passed, the Senate would still need to approve it before it could go to the governor's desk. Rachel Droz, WHAS 11, on your side.